Good afternoon and welcome to Thoughts from the Word. We're going to pick up in uh, Philippians chapter 4. We're going to look at verses 2 and 3 today. If you have your Bibles, why don't you turn there? Let's turn to Philippians 4, uh, chapter verses 2 and 3. Hear now the word of our Lord. I entreat you, Dia, and I entreat Syntyche to agree in the Lord. Yes, I ask you also, true companion, help these women who have labored side by side with me in the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen. And amen. As we look at this passage, uh, this is a brief passage. We may say, how does this apply to us or what is it saying? Well, Paul is writing to the church. And one thing we'll notice in chapter four is he seems to skip around a little bit and address a number of little teeny issues. You have two women in the church that have some sort of a disagreement. We're not privy to what that is. I, we, we would assume it was probably something related to the work. So he begins by entreating them, encouraging them to agree, to come together, find the common ground. But then he also asks someone else, and this is where we have a little problem in the translation. Uh, the, the word uh, that is translated true companion, uh, uh, ESV, or K, King James translates it uh, yoke fellow, uh, is unclear as to exactly who that is referring to. Is that referring to Timothy, possibly? Is it referring to Epaphroditus, possibly? Some believe that the word is actually a proper name, and it's referring to a specific person who's in Philippi. The, the problem with that is, while uh, Udiah and Syntyche na are names that are found in documents uh, uh, from that period, the, the word that's translated yoke fellow or true companion is not found being used as a, uh, a common name. Some have even suggested it, that it's referring to Paul, Paul's wife, uh, but that's kind of a far-fetched leap and we're not even going to go there. He's writing to a member there, an encouragement to them to encourage these women, to hold them accountable to learning to agree to working there because they have been faithful servants working side by side with him for a long time. Again, we're not given long, but we know that he, they've been working together along with him, uh, with Paul and Clement and the rest of his fellow workers. And he wants them all to be there for he writes uh, of them whose names are in the book of life. And the encouragement for getting along and working together there is that we all may be have our names written in that book of life in that final day when we stand before the Lord and, and are told to enter into his kingdom because we were faithful in our walk uh, and in our service to the Lord. It's an encouragement to serve us. So today, work on being faithful to the Lord in everything and, and seeking agreement, even if there is disagreement. Let's look at the Valley of Vision and see what it has to say. The Spirit of Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, fill me with thy spirit, that I may be occupied with his presence. I am blind. Send him to make me see. Dark. Let him say, let, him say, let there be light. May he give me faith to behold, my name engraven in thy hand, my soul and body redeemed by thy blood, my sinfulness covered by the life of pure obedience. Replenish me by his revealing grace, that I may realize my indis indissoluble union with thee, that I may know thou hast espoused, me, hast espoused me to thyself forever in righteousness, love, mercy, faithfulness, that I am one with thee as a branch with its stock, as a building with its foundation. May his comforts cheer me in my sorrows, his strength sustain me in my trials, his blessings revive me in my weariness, his presence render me a fruitful tree of holiness. His might establish me in peace and joy. His incitements make me ceaseless in prayer. His animation kindle in me undying devotion. Send him as the searcher of my heart to show me more of my corruptions and helplessness, that I may flee to thee, cling to thee, rest on thee as the beginning and end of my salvation. May I never vex him by my indifference and waywardness. Grieve him by my cold we uh, welcome. Resist him by my hard rebellion. Answer my prayers, O Lord, 
for thy great name's sake. Amen. And amen. Let's uh, go before the Lord in prayer. Father, I thank you that we can come before your throne of grace to lift our prayers to you. And like we just read in the Valley of Vision, we pray that you would pour out your Spirit upon us, that he would lead us and guide us according to your will and for, you, for your glory. We pray that you would be with us today as we have hit the middle of this week. And, and yes, I need to remind us of when it is, uh, for we've been alone and in homes for so long. Father, we, we tend to lose track, but may we remember uh, that, that uh, you are in control. We pray that you'd be with Chip Wilhelm and that you would uh, heal him of his pneumonia uh, and, and his possible AFib. I pray, Father, that you would just give him strength and that you would re return him to normal health and routine just as quickly as possible. We pray for Stephen Jones that you'd bring healing to him also and comfort, that you'd provide for him as well as his sister Patty Shoup. I pray, Father, that you would be with her, that you would care for her and provide for her also. We also pray for Viola uh, Pearsall, who is uh, at Lake Taylor rehabbing. We pray that you'd bring healing and strength to her. And Father, we also want to lift up Dot Harold to you and pray that you would be with her as she is still uh, dealing with her. Uh, Cancer, having some discomfort right now, I pray that you'd bring healing and strength to her. Comfort her and grant her your peace. Father, may we all be in touch with each other, but in particular as we can be able to reach out and touch those who are uh, sick and, and in need of, need of comfort, that we may be offer some, able to offer some words of comfort. Father, we pray that you would be with the nursing home behind us as we seek to meet their needs for more, uh, more masks, as we seek to to just show them the love of Christ. I pray that they would see Christ in us. And Father, we pray that you would be glorified in us. Build your church for your glory, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you again, and we will see you tomorrow. God bless you.